We are so close. Hi there, my name is Alicia and I'm so happy that you are here. Yay! So I host a podcast called Black Girl Creative and I have a collective in which black women come together, we create, we commune, we support each other and we share all the ups and downs of the creative journey. And so one of the questions that was asked in the collective was, how do I know if my art matters? Does my art matter? Does what I create matter? Does what I share, sing, paint, put out there, does it matter? And I really wanted to take time and answer that question. And I wanted to get to the heart of that question because I feel like that's not really what the question is asking. The question is, how do I know if my art is valuable or not? And so to that question, I asked this question, does it matter to you? Is it valuable to you? And I don't necessarily mean just the outcome of what you create. The process matters as well. Does the process bring you joy? Does it feel good to paint, to sing, to write? to share, to podcast, right? To make videos. Does it feel good to you? And if the answer is yes, then I would argue that your art, your creations, your podcast, all the things, it matters. A lot of times we're seeking for approval from other people to see if this thing deserves to exist, if we deserve to be able to create, if it's even worthy of our try and our effort. But the thing is creating, the process of creating is more than just the creation itself. Sometimes creating allows you to bring peace into your life or joy or beauty or pleasure or enjoyment. Sometimes it's meditation. Sometimes it's time to tuck away from other people. Sometimes it's communing with God. And if you value those things, then your art is valuable. We have to stop looking at the end result of things all the time. It's not always about what other people think of what we're creating. Sometimes what we need to prioritize is our own joy, our own pleasure, our own meditation, our own connection with God. And if we prioritize those things in creating and sharing, aids in that thing, then your art does matter. Your creations do matter. And then after we really focus on how it benefits us, then we can look at other people. And I would also argue this, even if people don't like what you create, it still matters to them. And I'll tell you why. If I spend time with myself, if I, if I prioritize my joy and my pleasure and my enjoyment, if I prioritize my, my meditation and my quiet time and my connection to God, that makes me a better person. And so if I can show up in life fulfilled and, and pleased and happy and filled to the brim with joy and rest, right? Then I can show up as my most authentic self. And I say showing up as your most authentic self really does impact the world in a beautiful way. If you show up as yourself, if you make time for yourself and you prioritize all those things, the joy, the pleasure, the peace, then you show up as your most authentic, loving, beautiful self. And that is what the world needs. So yes, the world at large is impacted, but so are your family, your friends, your coworkers, the people that you connect with on a daily basis. Their lives are made beautiful because you are able to be beautiful because you're able to be yourself and you're able to create. You're able to spend time with yourself doing the things that you actually love. So before we ask if our art matters to anybody else, we should ask ourselves, does it matter to me? And how does this affect my mood? How does it feel when you're able to create something? You feel fulfilled. You feel like you're on mission. You feel like you have a purpose in this world. And you being full of purpose allows you to show up in this world wonderfully, beautifully. God gave you that creativity. He gave you that gift. So just imagine giving a gift to someone and they never use it. They never pull it out because they're afraid of what other people will think about what you gave them. That would probably hurt your feelings. You probably feel away, especially if it's something personal that you imparted onto them. And so I know that the creativity that I have, God imparted onto me. And so therefore I wanna do well with the gifts that he's given me. I also think about my ancestors. I also think about the people who came before me who allowed me to be in this place where I can create freely. I would be letting them down as well if I don't share my most authentic work and if I don't create. There are so many of my ancestors who I will never hear their voice. I will never see their artwork. I will never see their paintings. I will never see their woodwork, right? Because the society made it so. But I know in all my privilege, in all my abilities, I can share the gifts that they've given to me. I know that my voice is not just mine. I know that it was gifted to me from my creator, but it's also the texture and the sounds of all the voices of all my ancestors that came before me. And so I would be doing them a disservice if I did not speak, if I did not share, if I did not sing. So I have to figure out in what order does my art matter to me? In what order does creating or the process of creating matter to me? So number one, God, myself, the people who came before me or who made me who I am, friends and family, and then everyone else. So yes, what you create matters. It matters to your creator. It matters to the people who came before you. It matters to you. The fact that you're even asking that question means that it does matter. It matters because you're doing it. It matters because it brings you joy and pleasure. It matters. So before you share your art with anybody else, check in with yourself. Does this feel good to me? 
do I enjoy this? Do I enjoy the process of it, right? Even if it never sees the light of day, if you enjoy that process, it matters. And I commend you and I celebrate you for sharing and creating in the first place because there are so many people who don't create because they're afraid. And if you're one of those people, I see you too. I too am afraid to share and create, but I have to prioritize my own enjoyment and my own pleasure before anybody else's. Before I care about what anybody else thinks of me or says, I prioritize what I want to do. And I give myself that permission. And I also give you permission to care about what you create in the process. So I love you, I see you, keep creating, keep making. And if you like this video, check out this video. It'll be helpful on your creative journey. Talk to you later, bye.